let's close unnecessary tabs from here that are not relevant so I just keep only a relevant tab here I think all of them are on capital letter so let's change the title to capital letter here popular t-shirt the letter case should be capital letter well click on update and reload we are done so if I click here it will add to cart in my cart here as you can see it's it's amazing right if I click here I can view this one as well so let's view our design and there is a section called spring summer women sale so there is a some kind of category and other information here let's copy and let's create this section take a container here it's you can just drag and drop well inside the container I'd like to take another container and here let's click here here is the container inside container there is another container and now I'm gonna add another container here or I can let's let's add another container <laughs> no worry Mm -hmm. let's delete okay delete this one I think I should duplicate let's add background color so that you can understand where I am navigating here it will be helpful for you let's add a background color here and add a white background color here so that you can understand well so this is primary container this is secondary container now I'm going to duplicate the secondary container it's now displaying below the container but as of now I would like to display two column so what I'm going to do I'm going to change the container view inside the container and here I'm going to duplicate this one it's I think uh, don't get confused because you will enjoy this process here so if i want to add a background color here the whole container here you can see the gray background color let's add some spacing 90 not everywhere top and bottom and left 10 and right 10 that's okay and now here you can see the container this container have a background color white color and i would like to display this container two column simply select the container go to general click flex properties and change the flex direction row as you can see it's displaying two column so we have this section here and there is another section simply we can duplicate this container and here you can see another container so i hope you understand uh, why i have created this one and why i have uh, changed the view like this way so now I'm going to delete not reusable I'm going to delete this one and add a heading collection and first women and then hit enter Add a heading I don't know it's not working why it doesn't work copy and paste okay somehow it doesn't work so let's write here spring summer collection let's add a paragraph again
spring collection here so I'm not sure uh, if I take a look at the code so maybe this is a short code container women and here is the heading here is the button let's type here paragraph and spring summer well it's okay can use visual well now uh, what I'm going to do I'm going to simply take paragraph I'm not sure it's not copied from here I'm somehow it's not working so I have to copy from here sometimes the figma doesn't allow you to copy the text and I was looking if I have uh, copied any wrong text there so it's working like this way right let's navigate here again uh, there is a button let's add a button and the text should be women shop women shop and women spring summer collection well so what i'm going to do i'm going to merge or group them all together here because here you can see they have some spacing uh, below uh, each item has have some spacing so i'm going to make them group now as you can see the spacing is gone and it looks much nicer you can add block spacing zero here let's add one and take image so click here and see here is the image go to container and add that image as a background image why i'll show you later on so go to collection i think this one and this one select this image and it's not displaying full width because we are using background image and in that situation you have to add spacer and increase the spacer to adjust the image height well now select the area here go to style and then the spacing and remove the padding to zero and also let's remove the background color and use this color here let's use my color picker use copy this color here is this one and select the container go to background paste the color well and also change the white color here to none still there is color here well so as you can see it looks clean and better now okay i'm going to duplicate this one and then move this layout so i can easily switch the layout from container select container go to general click flex properties and change the direction that's it and also here you can see the image is connecting with each other as you can see it's connected with each other so first of all let's change the image from this container add this one and then reduce each container space 
spacing margin is zero so there is no margin here and also this container spacing is zero now what i'm going to do margin boredom i just unlink the margin value here add margin boredom 10 pixel and select this container go to spacing and margin and top margin boredom 6 pixel still it's not connected connecting with each other so let's remove the margin and also increase the width i think first i should increase the height and width here then we can adjust the margin the row gap and the column gap should be it's 20 but uh, okay let's click update and let's inspect here so it's we need to connect this one let's inspect and see which one create space between them who is the culprit well i have found it that's much easier select the container here which is a parent container and here you can see the row gap should be zero that's it and it reduced the space now we have to increase the image size a little bit increase the container here let's custom weed 100 percent here i think okay so we should change the view here the flex properties well now change the weed here the minimum height i don't know why it's not working let's inspect again so it's a great, great options and see which one causing the spacing between them well um, there is some gap between the column let's remove the gap here we have selected the container and then go to style spacing I think it's possible I found it yes change the same from here go to general container sorry it's I think it's in style A spacing and column gap should be zero yes so sometimes uh, there are lots of things that you have to play around with but hopefully um, you can do it easily now let's select the container add some margin on the right side so instead margin i'm going to add padding on the right let's add 50 pixel okay 40 is enough and i think i have to add some padding here as well left so when i add padding here you can see the issue again when i add the padding it increase the gap between them okay so in that situation what we can do we can remove the padding and there is another way always there should be multiple ways so you have to just think about it okay now uh, i'm going to change here in group and inside the group there is also option for padding let's click here and here on padding right add some padding here 
I hope you understand what I did here. That's great, right? And the same thing, you have to change it from here. Select group, scroll down, and the padding, unlink here, lift. Well, and also add some padding in bottom area. So add padding here. Okay, I think there is no options for padding. I think there is options for margin, let's see. Yes, we can use margin top left right. There is no margin for left right. What we can do, we can convert this one into, let's say, if we can convert or if we can display this here. Well, we can add that button inside the group area and we are done click on update reload the page here so now we have added our style based on our figma design so let's take a look at here if is there anything else that we should consider to change we can add a spacing here a little bit between the button and the text here so let's add some margin here we know we can add margin inside the button area let's select button here select margin and then um, select unlink here top four reload we are done here so we have completed this section as well now it's time to create another section i think it takes a lot of time here to create this section now let's move into this part let's create testimonial section in another part